Hello and welcome to a new video! Today we're going to take a look at my run to my highest elo so far for this season, which I think is 2971 MMR here with Salazzle. And also a pretty horrific Salazzle, if you can see on the right side, the IV spread is not really ideal, but this team was so much fun to play. And this like the thing as well, I know a lot of people don't like the Jungle Cup, and I do understand why. Yes, we have Vigoroth here as well against Vigoroth. Like, Vigoroth should be banned most likely, and it would have been a such more fun cup, I would imagine, but... Still, this cap, in my opinion, is one of the best ones. You must have saw my channel already, my Groudon review. Most likely should be live already at this point. But, like, there are so many weird Pokemon that have those small niches, which are so much fun to play. And Salazzle is one of them. Salazzle, as a fire type, has a lot of fun in this meta. But also, I have to say, Obama Snow was a lot of fun as well. This thing was, uh, like, so, so good in a lot of scenarios, as there are a lot of flying plus Dragon-type Pokemon around. And... The cool thing here about, okay, that's most likely not the ideal play to go for Poison Fang against this Pokemon, by the way, but it's going to still be fine, as you can see the damage output here. The cool thing about Obama Snow as well, you don't need to have a Shadow variant, the normal variant is better in my opinion. Um, there's one issue for this team, by the way, and this is basically the, what we're going to encounter here right now. By the way, we're battling, I think, against the best Indian player in the world. I think he's from India, but um, I think he won a tournament recently. That's kind of why I saw that. But yeah, we have an issue against Cherizard. We have an issue against the Talonflame with this team. And those were definitely always the hardest matches. Basically, everything else I was easily able to beat with this team, which was kind of interesting. But yeah, we're going to see quite a lot of battles as well today. I did three sets with this team. I went, I think, 2-3, 3-2, and 4-1 with this team. So definitely a very solid climb. The longer I played it, the better I went with it. So um, very, very good team to use right now. Here we're going to see the Vigoroth going to be able to knock out the opponent's Vigoroth, allowing me to realign. I'm swapping out immediately because I need to get damage on that Charizard. And so I will not use a shield here because I feel like maybe my Abama Snow has some play here. And I'm going to wait out the clock a little bit and then swap out into my Abama Snow, trying to farm them all the way down. I'm forced to use a shield. It's very likely to be a Dragon Claw, like very, very likely. And there's a Dragon Claw. Claw, but they swap out into a Greedent. We are sheared down, the opponent can go for neutral body slams. We will see that two are not enough to knock us out, which is going to be great for us, as I can go for a Weather Ball now, trying to bait a potential shield. Uh, maybe they think it's going to be the Energy Ball, but it was not the Energy Ball, of course, here. But what we can try to do here is I can try to go up to two Weather Balls, and then swap out into my Vigoroth. We need some more damage onto them anyway, and they're forced to go for a charge move here. So, our obvious play would be to go for double charge move, right? The opponent still has a charge move stored most likely as well soon. I think they like one away now, so they should have a body slam at this point. But I decided to go for an extra fast move, expecting the opponent to catch the move on the Charizard. And this prediction helped me to win this game here. This was crucial as the opponent had charge move stored as well, and we can move on to the next opponent. Great lead for us. Um, you're always going to win against the Vigoroth and the two shields scenario just because you do so much damage with Incinerate from Salazzle. Like, honestly, like it, it hits so, so hard. It's kind of wild. But they swap out into the Mandibar. So we can take advantage of this. We can go for one um, Poison Fang here, basically. Swap out into our own Abama Star. We can get, basically, hit from one charge move here as well. We don't really care too much about it. We can over farm and try to see MP tie onto the next charge move, which should be now the case. And so the Weather Ball is going to come through before they can go for the Aerial is allowing us to knock them out and that was kind of okay for us what is not really okay for us is going to be that talent flame that's coming in so quite a lot of fire flying type pokemon against us but do we still have a chance of winning this we have to see here we can go for a poison fang against the opponent which is going to be able to hopefully get the shield here yeah, we're gonna get the shield but it's still going to be basically impossible to win this one right so flame charge coming through going to be even worse for me i'm kind of forced to go for a charge move immediately to try to get rid of the final shield and now i have to hope that i can catch the move onto my vigoroth but they decide to go for an extra fast move and so they can go for the boosted fly now we try to do still our best to knock them out but it's going to be basically impossible we can go for another charge move here this is going to connect not going to knock them out they can knock us out at the same time and we can try to farm them down but they still barely just get to a charge move so it is what it is talonflame is a little bit of a trickier one you might want to have a water type in the back then instead but it is what it is Next opponent, we're going to have the Vigoroth here in the lead for us. We can go for the Poison Fang as well against them. As the opponent goes for a charge move, that's totally fine. You usually want to go for three incinerates just to have a better fast move timing. You can also go straight for the Poison Fang if you want to, but like this, you also potentially... Um, 
get a shield here, which is actually what we're gonna get, because I think we're gonna go for a Dragon Pulse or a Fire Blast, which we could run as well, but here we will be able to get two shields from the opponent, and we're gonna get a ton of damage with our fast move here, because double, um, yeah, double debuffed Vigoroth against our counter is going to be a great matchup for us, and they go into the Lantern here, and the cool thing is, of course, our Bummer Snow will be able to resist everything they're gonna throw at me, and as I get to another Body Slam, which is crucial here, we're gonna put them into range where Weather Ball is going to be enough to knock them out, and we can get some decent um, energy most likely. Maybe we can even fully farm them down. This depends now on how much damage they're going to do with the Thunderbolt, which is going to definitely come through here anyway. We're going to see that. Maybe I go for the full farm down, maybe I don't. Let's find out. I might just still go for a charge move here just so we don't get um, too low basically with our Bummer Snow. This was a Steam Pita as well, so that's a great play for me. And we will see that they're going to have in the back here again the Vigoroth, which we can knock out as well. So they might be weak to our Bummer Snow in the back if they go into this one again. And they are. It's going to be the Trevenant, and so they're going to give up on this battle and we can move on to the next opponent. Horrible lead. Worst possible lead, the Shadow Whiskers here, and they're gonna go straight for the Mud Plump. A smart play, because if I if they don't do this, basically, I can go for the Body Slam before they go for the Scald, which um, allows us to basically deny the advantage they get from me swapping out before. But like this, I can even go for a double Body Slam against the opponent of Vigoroth, which is going to be great, as now I will hopefully get them low enough that we can counter them down, but now they're going to decide to use a shield here, and so I'm forced to go into my Salazzle. I know that I'm forced to use a shield here as well, but um, they can still maybe get to a bot body slam afterwards here, which might be a little bit annoying, and they can. And so what we have to try to do here is we maybe go for... Yeah, we have to swap immediately, basically, because the opponent, I think, stayed in for a little bit as well with their Whiskash, so maybe we can get some extra energy here early on. But they decide to swap out into the Manta, and this game is basically over at this point, right? Like, there's not a lot that we can do here. But there's a 10% chance for Energy Ball to get the defense drop. And this is exactly what we got here, and this is basically our lifeline. So, what we can do is, we can let the Aerial Ace go through, we can still go for the Weather Ball. This only knocks them out now, because of the debuff. We would have not done it without it, and so we can align ourselves. This is basically our only chance, and we have to hope they decide to use a shield on this move. And they do. This was a huge mistake by the opponent, they will still survive this one. But what we can do now is, we're going to be able to go for the Dragon Pulse, because we win the CMP tie easily against the opponent. This Dragon Pulse is coming through, going to connect, going to knock them out, and we were able to flip the matchup basically after hard losing the lead. Speaking of hard losing the lead, this is this time around for the opponent the case, and they swap out into the Sableye. I'm gonna go for the Poison Fang, because it's going to get them A a little bit lower, but also drops their defense immediately, and it's going to make the matchup way easier for our Vigoroth, as we can now get more damage in with our counter, with our body slam, with our rock side. We don't really care too much about what the opponent wants to do here. I decide to go for the bait, expecting that the opponent might want to use a shield here to realign themselves, and yes, they try to do exactly this, but not with me. They're gonna win the CMP tie here, I don't care, I go for for my own charge move and this is going to allow us to hopefully knock them out allow us to go for the Salazzle against the Obama Snow again and align ourselves accordingly and they swap out back into the Obama Snow kind of what we would expect anyway they go straight for the charge move totally fine for me and we're in a great spot right now because if we get some debuffs onto whatever they have in the back as well we're going to be fine but they want to have the Rune Rigas and here it is great that we have the normal variant of the Obama Snow because we can take those Shadow Balls now I was a little bit scared more of the Rock Tomb to be fair but because we are the non-shadow variant, we are able to survive. The shadow one would have went down here, and so we can easily win this game as the opponent decides to forfeit. Next opponent coming up, we're going to have a very bad lead for us. It's going to be the Lantern here. We can swap out, and this is a great thing about Vigoroth, and this is exactly why, I, why you kind of need to have Vigoroth as a safe swap for this team. If you encounter something like a Lantern, like a Whiskash, you're just going to be able to outspeed them by one um, fast move, and this allows you to basically get rid of the disadvantage that you have for swapping out and losing a turn by this, and this is so important in a lot of scenarios. Here we were able to get a shield from the opponent, which is a little bit annoying because I would have really enjoyed the um, charge move landing there. For me, there's no reason to use a shield though, and so I have to go into my Salazzle. I am using a shield here, hoping that this is not going to be the Water Pulse variant. It's going to be just the Aerial is coming through, and so I can try to go for a Dragon Pulse, or I'm just going to try to go for an extra fast move afterwards and go for double Poison Fang. I'm going to go for the Dragon Pulse straight away. Let's see how much damage it's going to do against the opponent. It is going to connect, and we can swap out into our Obama's node, but not before they can go for an Aerial Ace. 
we are basically with our back against the wall. Like, there's not a lot that we can do here, especially with they having their own Obama Snow in the back. We are running, by the way, Weather Ball. This is important as well as you're going to outspeed the Dragonite with this Pokemon then. Um, otherwise, he would not be able to do so. And also, it's going to be better just in general, in my opinion, in this matter. Like, basically, we can talk about in the next battle as well a little bit more about the Obama Snow, but sadly, we're going to lose this one. So, why is normal Obama Snow so great? Also, we are, like saw already before we were able to take some more hits, but if you take a look at the current meta, um, you're going to see that most Pokemon that Obama Snow is great against, you one shot no matter what. Like, there are so many Whiskash, there are so many Quagsire, there are going to be a lot of Swampets, there are going to be a lot of Altaria, a lot of um, Dragonites. You one-shot them. It doesn't matter if you're going to be Shadow or not. So, like, for you, you basically just lose a little bit of your bulk with a Shadow bonus, while you don't really do that much more damage, because you're going to one-shot them anyway. So, for this meta, I would definitely recommend you to go for the normal variant of the Avama Snow. That doesn't mean that the Shadow variant is not playable or anything, I just prefer the normal variant in this meta. Shadow variant is usually more fun to play, but here I feel like the normal just makes more sense. Sadly, we lose out on the knockout here by 1 HP, but we can maybe catch the next discharge on our Obama Snow, but never mind, the opponent is going to go down here anyway with their Whimsicott in the back. Steelix, you might expect this to be a great lead for us. It is actually not. The thing is here that Steelix is going to be able to go for Psychic Fangs. Being super effective against us can be a little bit of a trickier one. And also, our bulk is just very low here in general, so like we don't really... Yeah, so we have a lot of Dragon Tails, but we at least have 100 energy, which might come in clutch later on. We have to see about this. As you're going to encounter a Tropius. This would be great for our Obama Snow, but also only in a scenario where they don't have energy, because of course, their fast move, as well as the Aerial Ace, is going to be super effective against us. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play it a little bit differently than you might expect. Like, I'm not going to go into the Obama Snow after going down here. I go back into my Salazzle. I have the Poison Fang stored, and I can go for the easy knockout here, which I'm going to take advantage of. So, this is hopefully going to be great for me. I'm going to swap out immediately, trying to catch a move from the Steelix, which does work out as well, but is this going to be enough to win this game is the question here. What do they have in the back? They have a Trevenant in the back. Like, this game is over. Trevenant has nowhere to go. Like, even if they would knock out our Obama Snow, which they can't, we still would be fine. Next opponent, the Skarmory in the lead. This is going to be great for us again. We're going to see them swapping out into the Quagsire. And I swapped into the Vigoroth. I nearly swapped into the Obama Snow, but Vigoroth is going to be a little bit of a safer play here, actually, because Stone Edge is going to knock out I think it actually doesn't knock out our Obama Snow because we're the normal variant. Definitely knocks out the Shadow variant. I think we barely survive as a normal one. But here we can just basically force realignment, which is definitely better for me. And so I expect that they're going to have a Whiskash in the back anyway, or like a Swampert. So for me, keeping my Obama Snow healthy in the back is kind of also how the opponent's team kind of supposed to work. Like the lead is really good against Obama Snow, the Sayswap has coverage for it. And then you have usually a Swampert or the Whiskash in the back, which doesn't really have coverage for it. And so so we're going to hope that this is going to be the case again, and it is the case. And so the opponent has nowhere to go. And the great crazy thing here as well is we can just go ahead, let the squad go through, go for an energy ball, and we don't bait here at all. We're just going to go straight for it. We still have a dragon um, pulse stored on our other Pokemon, our Salazzle. And so as long as you're going to get the final shield, we should be fine here because we're still going to do a ton of damage and we still have our own shield. And at this point, this game is over. We got the final shield. They tried to do their best to Trying to go for the full farm down, it does not work for them, and so we're going to be able to win this game with our Obama Snow. Final battle for today. Again, a fairly neutrally, to be fair, I would not really say that the Vigoroth matchup is like an amazing matchup for the Salazzle. It is playable, it is not great, but it's playable. And you're going to be able to win this in the, I think in the one shield as well as in the two shield scenario you can win this. I think on paper it doesn't win this in the one shield scenario, but like it really depends on the move timing. Here as the opponent, the fast move, with, like the charge move go through, I decide to swap out, try to make a sneaky play and keep some energy, but sadly we're going to encounter the worst possible Pokemon that we could encounter. Already made a video about this Pokemon as well on the channel, so definitely check it out. This thing is very, very strong in the meta right now. The Pedal Sand is so, so good. I would not really recommend you to go for the Mud Shot. Mud Shot is not a wrong option, like it, in some scenarios, like here, for example, as well. It might be even a little bit better. But um, I really like the Sand Attack on this Pokemon because you can just go, if the opponent goes into their Vigoroth Say Swap, you can just go into this thing, go for one charge move of the Scorching Sands and farm them down and end up with a perfectly 100 energy. But here, as you can see, sadly, another hard answer in the back here for us. We're just getting completely hard walled. 
Like they literally had the worst answers for both of the Pokemon in my backline against me. So like there's not really anything we can do here or is there? There still might be something because it can still get a move off and it can try to debuff them. But sadly, Machot of course is going to knock us out here and so we're going to go down. But there was nothing I can do there. Like literally they had the Tiger Flame against our Obama Snow. They had the Palo Sending against our Vigoroth. But still we were able to climb up quite a bit with this team. Hopefully I'm going to hit Legend soon. I'm trying to do it with Spice so hopefully it's going to work out. I'll see you then. Bye bye.